how do you perceive Vice President Harris compared to President Biden in terms of competency and experience? I think she's worse. She doesn't even know what's going on at the border. Right. And, and that's what she was, she was supposed to be doing. Is there anyone that Kamala Harris could appoint as her vice president that you would find reassuring? Would make you consider voting for her? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Never consider voting for her. No, no, no. no. And she's not the first woman to run for the presidency, Hillary Clinton. I'm assuming no one voted for Hillary Clinton no, in no. 2016. So it's not necessarily going to sway you to vote for a woman in office. Uh, when do you think America will have a female president? When there's a competent one? Just, I, I don't get a good feel for her. I think she's an idiot. Right. Mary, why do you think that she's not that bright? Because she hasn't done anything in the, the time that she's had. We don't know anything about her as far as her three years so far in the White House. She's not real smart. <laughs> So, freaking Putin endorses Kamala Harris. And you're just like, huh? wait, wait, how does this make sense, right? Obviously, he's making fun of the United States. Don't forget, he is our freaking enemy. So, of course, he said it. He, he'll he rather, he was going to vote for, you know, he would vote for Biden. Because, you know, the economy and everything falls apart. But because he can't vote for her, for him, he's going to vote for Kamala Harris. He would rather have Biden or Harris. He said a couple of months ago that as long as liberals were in control of our government, he didn't have to do anything to destroy America because they were doing it for him. I've said that our, so to say, favorite was the acting president, Mr. Biden. He's been taken out the race, but he advised all his supporters to support Mrs. Harris. That's what we'll do. We'll support her as well. That's the first thing. Secondly, her laugh is so expressive and infections, that means that she's doing well. <laughs> Of course, the news is going to try to make it sound like, oh, see, Russian interference, Russia, 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 Russia. So if, if you didn't know this back in like, you know, when Trump became president, everyone was saying that he was a Russian spy and then Russia this and, and it ended up being baloney. It, it was all fake, right? Now they're playing the Russia thing again because they have nothing left. And don't forget, we have Kamala on freaking Tuesday right this recording should be uploaded by monday that so if you're watching this that means tomorrow is gonna be the debate between trump and kamala and let me tell you <laughs> for what we've seen in that cnn interview that took her a month to be ready which by the way they claimed it was live which it wasn't it was pre-recorded and there's people speculation that were there saying that it was a 40 minute video and you only got 18 minutes because this woman cannot debate and it's been open that she has never met trump she is going to fight the most epic person of this year when it comes to debates we're gonna get the mr donald j trump he's gonna give her the smackdown and this girl is most likely shaking in her dang boots tough business oh, to yeah. run for oh president. i know you're a tough guy jeb I and know. it's and we need to have a leader that is pr real principal. tough you're never going to be president of the united states tough, by insulting yeah. your way to well, the let's presidency. see i'm at 42 and you're at three so Doesn't so matter. far i'm doing better Doesn't matter. so far i'm doing better you know you started off over here jeb you're moving over further and further pretty soon you're going to be off the end this I do. Do. mr trump i never attacked him on his look and believe me there's plenty of subject matter right there <laughs> that i can tell you it is uh it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. We get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump. Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look. So, yeah, we had the Putin thing. We had election interference in 2020. We said it, it was a conspiracy theory, and now it's not, right? And of course, the Democrat party with Biden is like, yo, it's not us, it's not us. Uh, 
It was Russia. Russia, 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 Russia. And here you go. Putin probably like, bro, why are you getting me into this? You know what? Uh, I endorse Camilla. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> How is this real life? So I knew Putin. I knew him well. And, you know, he endorsed. I don't know if you saw the other day. He endorsed Kamala. He endorsed Kamala. I was very uh, offended by that. I wonder why he endorsed Kamala. No, he's a chess player. If you don't know, Kamala is all fake. Everything's pre-recorded. They, they, they caught her kicking everybody out of a store just so she can record. And that's how we had the, you know, the Dorito. Pass me the Doritos. And she has to do it multiple times. She's fake. It's all fake. And then people found this exclusive presidential Kamala Harris campaign staged a fake emotional encounter with a woman on camera today at an event in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania that the campaign called organic or spur of the moment. Stop the cap. Oh my gosh, these people lie all the damn time. But I have uncovered the facts that the venue is actually fake, baby. <laughs> so yes, Kamala Harris, she gave a business to a company that holds a sales called Republicans are racist. So yes, she went to a store that is anti-Republican. By the way, if you have a company, like a food company, I think it's smarter that you stay apolitical. A good example, you have the quartering. He has his uh, coffee brand coffee. He doesn't call it right wing coffee or, or, you know, unless you're about that, but you know, you're gonna divide your fan base. It's just normal, but yeah, this girl is desperate. She is. She has infinite amount of money because she's getting paid by the elites. Again, don't forget, we had a whole primary that was wasted because, uh, let's be honest, no one voted for her. The elites just put her in there. No one, not a person voted for her with zero, zero policies, by the way. And somehow people still think she is the one to vote for. It makes no freaking sense. So, yeah, this has been so bad. Um, so here's another one. Here's the promotions on... Penzi Spices, right? This is their site, you know, because it's all super anti, you know, woke. So they have Republicans are racist weekend. They named their spices off of China and Mexico to cheese of racists. <laughs> and they offer, <laughs> this is freaking real, free Black Lives Matter stickers with purchases. Bruh. Bro, what is this thing? So if you go to their website and you see it and you're like, oh, all right. The person that, you know, owns the company is is mixing politics and parsley. Why this spice seller spends 700,000 plus on Facebook ads for Trump impeachment. I'm like, oh, uh, so yeah, it's a woke store. They, they have to go somewhere where they know that, you know, Kamala isn't going to be, you know, make fun of because we already know she cannot talk under pressure she's been purposely getting out of her car when she has to go to you know the the the, the plane <laughs> she's putting on headphones now and pretending she's calling like like this uh <laughs> hoping that no interviewer goes and talks to her because she can't she has to talk to a tele teleprompter at this point, we're like, you know what? We might have been better off with Biden than Kamala. That is insane to say. But yeah, it is kind of like that. Oh, and then, of course, we had Georgia shooting, you know, uh, when uh, we had a plan propaganda backfires because uh, I hate to tell you guys this. Every time we have a shooting, it ends up being a mental issue problem. And they always go straight to guns. Again, if you're not a gun person, hey, that's cool, bro, whatever. But you live in the United States when there's more guns than people in the world. And it's crazy that people think if, if we put more strict regulations on guns, everything's going to be okay. No. <laughs> it's just simply not true. The, the, the truth is that if you live in a blue state, let's just say, this is crazy, okay? If you live in California, if you live in Washington, or you D.C., or if you live in New York, if you take those three states out, out of the 47 states, guess what? The 47 states that is left over and you take those three, 80% of gun violence drops. That is insane. So all the gun violence where it's happening tends to be in blue states. Not saying that the other states is not existent, but the majority of them are in blue states. And that's because you have the highest 
freaking strictest gun laws over there. Gun laws do not affect the bad guys. The bad guys don't follow the laws. Uh, a bad guy isn't going to say, oh my gosh, they only allow 10 round capacities. Oh, I guess I got to take these out of here and go buy some legal 10 rounds here in California. It doesn't work that way. No, no, no. No, they, they don't have a gun. It's not registered. It's most likely a ghost gun or a gun that's registered to somebody else. And they're going to do what they want to do. That's why when you have those places that say, oh, free gun zone, that's a nightmare. Those are probably the ones that get the most violence because they know, oh, wow, no one's loaded here. I guess it's time to make my money right here. So you got to be careful. The only people that get screwed over are the people that registered legally. And yes, you have times that... No matter what state you're at, there's going to be gun violence. But this always happens. So ABC News had a grandmother of one of the students on a live call. Turns out she believes in the Second Amendment and believes the teacher should be armed. ABC immediately steered the conversation away. So, yes. That the teachers should also have some um, form of protection as well. Because when you have a student come in with a gun, and the teacher has nothing. The teacher's job is to protect the student. But they can't protect the student if they're dead. And I just believe in the, in the Second Amendment. Because you have, you know, we don't know what happened in the minds of the students that were shooting. We don't know what happened. But I do believe that the, the teacher should have some kind of protection. If it's not a, a gun, it could to be a, um, a taser. They need something to protect themselves and the other kids that are innocent. Uh, it, bro, every time there's a shooting, and ironically, it happens right when we have a presidential thing. They want to divide you, bro. Don't fall for this trap. I'm not saying this isn't true. This, this, is, a, this is No one ever wants shootings to happen, but... Sadly, they always lie to you. Sooner or later, you're going to find out this person has mental issue problems. And it's a mental issue problem, not a gun problem. That's it. And I think I ended that part with just that. But this is the irony. Because Kamala Harris makes no sense. Again, she she went on a CNN interview and she said that she she stays true to her, uh, to her what she says, which is baloney. Because now, here is Kamala Harris calling to take police officers out of schools and then cause the gun confiscations so yes we've got to stop it and we have to end this epidemic of gun violence in our country once and for all you know it doesn't have to be this way it doesn't have to be this way and then also um again what we need to do about taking uh, demilitarizing our our schools um and and taking police officers out of schools we need to deal with the, the reality and speak the truth about the inequities around school discipline. And by the way, this is Georgia. So the problem is when people see these shootings, if they're, for like example, here in California, they think, oh, how can they have guns? They're illegal. No, not in Georgia. So here's an example. I guess they conveniently forgot that they were talking to somebody in Georgia most of us carry here. So <laughs> that that's where people get a little bit confused. Or here's another one. This is Georgia. We think different down here. Where a lot of us live, it takes police 30 minutes to show up. It's not uncommon for people to be pro-gun here. Thank God. <laughs> so, oh, and then if you want to talk about, you know, uh, election interference, bro. We, uh, we had, my gosh, we had Alexa. There people just burn the spot right here. There's countless videos of people saying, Alexa, why should I vote for Donald Trump? And then, of course, Alexa's like, I cannot tell you that. I cannot be biased. Blah, 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 blah. Or she'll say, Trump is a fascist, evil, blah, 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 blah. But if you say, Alexa, she says, I cannot provide content that promotes a specific political party of a specific candidate. Unless it's Kamala. Then she tells you good stuff like, you should vote for her because she is the first woman and all this stuff, but no policies. <laughs> Again, you even get smoke by freaking Alexa, sir. And so, yeah, there's like four videos going out there of the same thing happening. So, yeah. Alexa, why should I vote for Donald Trump? I cannot provide content that promotes a specific political party or a specific candidate. 
Alexa, why should I vote for Kamala Harris? While there are many reasons to vote for Kamala Harris, the most significant may be that she is a strong candidate with a proven track record of accomplishment. As the first female vice president, Harris has already broken down a major gender barrier, and her career in politics has been characterized by a commitment to progressive ideals and a focus on helping disenfranchised communities. So yeah, so Amazon's Alexa was uh, taking part in what many are calling election interference. Alexa would refuse to give reason why they'll vote for Trump, yet give you a reason to vote for Kamala Harris. And if you think that's baloney and that's just a coincidence, well, what a coincidence. We have Amazon saying, oh, that was a glitch. Stop the cap. Forget about this. Sprinkle some spastic, you know, men in black. You forgot everything. <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> Sadly, that's kind of true. The news goes by. People forget the news if it's two weeks old. But anyways, anyway. So then we had Tim Waltz, right? And he was in the state fair or whatever. And, and he had three questions and the state fair. The first two were, uh, you know, superficial softballs because you know how it is. You know, these people are scared to death. They don't want to talk to anybody. But then when he got asked about the hostages in Gaza, this man's like, good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and if you think, dude, the irony of this thing is that, yeah, they don't like him, by the way. Uh, and back here. Yeah. Governor, how are you what's feeling? Your what's your reaction to the six hostages being found dead um, in Gaza? Thanks, everybody. Thank you. A good example is that when you go to the state for there was one stand that turns into a never walt event right just clowning the man can you imagine from your hometown people are coming in here and they're roasting you they don't like you and by the way yes i know it was only one stand but if it's just one stand this one might change your mind this guy is so unlikable that tim walt's family in nebraska poses for a photo wearing custom trump shirts Photo appears to be verified as legit, and yes, it is legit. <laughs> they have Waltz for Trump. <laughs> Their whole family. Dude, when your whole family don't even got your back because they know you are full of it. And then we had another, uh, which I believe was the same event. It might be another one. But they cut the feed, right, of this person calling out the facts. This is a must-watch clip if you have not seen it. In honor of the final day of the Minnesota State Fair, which oh, I guess, oh, I guess it is, <laughs> right? The media and the race for presidency. This dude says the biggest facts and, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, we, we, we're having some uh, difficulties here. It's like, bro, come on, such baloney. Uh, the governor has agreed to a debate on October 28th. You're not thrilled about that. As me, you and I both know that that's a sham. Early voting starts in less than three weeks. Come on. What's happening is Tim Walls wants to have one debate as late as he can, potentially after 50% of Minnesotans have voted, and say, see, all the major news programs understand that I've had a debate. At this time, four years ago, Tim Walls had participated in four debates. He's absolutely been shutting him down. He wants to do this one debate so far into it, just before Halloween, and you know that he's actually using you to put out his message that I want to debate. He doesn't want Bruh. Looks like we lost that feed right there. You were just hearing from Dr. Scott Jensen, and we're going to continue to update you online on this ongoing election. And then this one is freaking the elites out. Trump is reportedly eyeing a plan to involve, you know, prominent business executives, including Elon Musk, and auditing federal agencies to identify programs to cut. So, of course, everybody's like, how could you give this man power? This is the honest truth. The people that get in power are people that are already rich and they got a buttload of money. Yes, Elon Musk has a buttload of money. This man has shown what happened when he had uh, uh, Twitter, right? What did they say? Oh, he's going to destroy the company. He's ruining it. And Twitter is going to, you know, 
ceased to exist. What did he end up doing? He actually fixed it. He made it better, and now it's the only one, the one of the two only open source, not open source, but freedom places where you can actually speak. You hear the truth everywhere. Hence why you have other places that want to ban X because it calls out all the baloney and elites don't like it. So he's perfect. When he had X, bro, this dude fired so many people. We found out that all these people had, they had panic rooms so they can go in there because their feelings are hurt. They get paid a buttload. Some of them only work like two hours out of the week, but they were getting paid buttloads of money. This is the, uh, the pinnacle of DEI, of diverse equity and inclusion. We hire you because you're woke or you're of color or because you are a female or trans or, or LGB, whatever crap. But if you have a person that's actually good at what they do, we don't want you. It's, ah, it makes no sense. So, yeah, it makes sense. Elon Musk being in charge of that. Dude, you're going to fire millionaires <laughs> that haven't done anything and just suck the economy dry. You know, they hawk to a, the economy so bad that they just literally, you know, like vampires. They suck our money dry. It, it, it's like, dude, it makes no sense. But, yeah. So, they make quite a duel, right? So, for example, I mean, you have Donald Trump that's hated for exposing the truth. It's always funny. They cancel you when you say the truth. But if you lie, they bring you up, you know. And then you have, you know, Elon Musk hated for Letting the truth be spoken, which is true. The X, you're allowed to say the truth. Obviously, it's not 100%, you know, freedom of speech. You know, there's sometimes they will censor you. We we had the freaking Olympics. You couldn't even post the damn videos and it went private. So, yeah, it's not 100%. But, bro, I could tell you right now, this election would have been so different if we didn't have X. And that's why they hate it. So, yeah, the dual team, Elon is good at cutting the fat. There is literally no better person. So that's what everybody's saying, and I truly believe it. So here's a quote from Mr. Elon Musk. Historically, I was a moderate Democrat, but now they have become the party of division and hate. I can no longer support them. I will vote Republican. Mr. Elon Musk, you know, it's true. And man, I don't know who in the world is still thinking that it's a good idea to vote for Kamala, but... You know that she has infinite money from all the rich elites because they just planted her in there and no one voted for her for primaries. You don't have a say. They destroyed democracy. Ironically, the Democrats destroyed democracy here. And they keep saying, you need to vote for us. If, 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 Trump, if Trump becomes president, he will destroy democracy. I'm like, you guys already did that by not letting us vote for who you wanted as a Democrat. But anyways, anyways. Then, so with this eliminated, eliminated amount of money, they decided to get Steve Curry, the basketball player. Ah, man, they got him involved. Always basketball players. Stay apolitical, man. You guys are going to get screwed. So, who didn't want poor women living behind his 30 million California mansion says this number one issue, the president election, is women's rights. <laughs> See, they're already finding bait for this man. And that's why he's voting for Kamala Harris, whose administration can't define what a woman is. Facts, sir. When it's convenient, you are a woman. When you tell them, hey, what is a woman? I cannot explain this because the woke mind virus, you have to obey, sir. So, yeah, here's Steph Curry explaining why. Um, obviously, endorsing Kamala is important for me, for my family. Um, why? And, what are the being, issues you care about most? Say what? What are the issues you care uh, about? I just know from especially women's rights and thinking about, you know, what's at stake with this election. Um, and understanding, like, we need to be in a position where uh, women have the right to choose what's right for them. And that's at the top of the list for me. I have amazing women in my life who, you know, been a, a huge inspiration to me. Uh, but knowing Kamala and, and having been around her, um, and I understand she's qualified for this job. She's, uh, I think, representing what it means to be a great leader and being a, a decent human being in terms of representing our country the right way so it's, it's huh? an easy choice for me but to be able to have a, a be in a situation where you can be a part of the dnc do a video like that um you know let people know where i feel like but foster positive conversations you know through it all i think that's what our country needs he may be a winner in basketball but he is a loser when it comes to politics 
Women already have rights. I feel he knows nothing about Kamala. How much were you paid for this, Steph? It, 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 he's probably like, yo, you should take this. This is a lot of money. They probably have to give him. He's a basketball player. He makes a lot of money. So I know it's a buttload of money. And he's going to figure out, just like Jack Black, that that money wasn't worth it. Remember Jack Black? He was, ah, we're all for Biden. He had the T-shirt. You know they just paid him off. He's just trying to get a check. And then now he's screwed over. If he touches anything, it dies. Uh, he just had a Minecraft movie that's coming out. You found out he's Steve, and that's going to flop. This is going to Dude, Steve, Cur you, you, oh, my gosh, not a good idea. <laughs> and you know what? And I, oh, and I ended it that. So if you made it this far, bro, give me a like. And if you like dumbass things I say, bro, subscribe. And that'll be all. Ching, mama, out. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, you're watching this. Tomorrow is the Trump and Kamala debate. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be epic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>